I'm a widow baby.
And there we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. We are on the internet. How are you all doing? Oh my gosh. Uh, opening up the stream immediately because we found out that Nesky and chat, it's it's their birthday. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nesky. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> hope you have a good day. Um, how are you all doing? Um, it is the um, third time we're doing day 89 of Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh god. Um, so if you watched the VOD yesterday, or if you were there yesterday, um, we we realised we had kind of run out of stuff to do on Animal Crossing a little bit. And in order to actually give us some things to do, we had to time travel so that we could finish our rock circle. But in doing oh! so, who knows what terrors we have unleashed. <laughs> and now we're on day 89 again? now today um technically that means i think i've done 92 days in a row of animal crossing <laughs> not 89 no it's it's the 89th day of our streams um also alex they're resubbing for 62 months which is a lot of months <laughs> that is a wow thank you um yeah holy crap so um, there was a big Twitch DDoS thing last night, and um, Fiona's stream was super wonky, and our stream ended a bit wonky, and it was all over the place and wonky. Um, so yeah, apologies um, if you weren't able to join like the Marvel Grand Prix and stuff like that. Um, it looks like everything's back to normal today, and Fiona will be live again um, today with another attempt at marbles. Um, and also, later tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to uh, do a co-op stream together, and I think... What we might end up doing today is um, attempt Kingdom 2 Crowns again. Um, since the last time we played it, they've released a whole new update, the, the Deadlands, I think it's called. Um, and we might play through that again, because Fiona absolutely loved that game. Um, and we have been looking for something chill and fun to do during this month together. Um, so yeah. Cool. I think that's what we do tonight. Um, but until then, I got some Animal Crossing to do. We got a lot of stuff to sort out. We are growing our rainbow garden today. Um, we made some good, um, a good effort at that yesterday, but we need some more flowers to grow. That might take a couple of days, um, but we will see what we can do to spruce it up a bit, make our Pride Festival the best it can be. Um, yes. So also, I I think there's rumblings or rumors. I've seen a few tweets. I don't know if this is just rumors or if this is concrete information or whatever. Um, but apparently some people saw like a notification about the Twitch Pride event yesterday during the whole mess, and it said that it was going to be going until like the 16th of July. Um, which I think would mean that it would start tonight at about eight o'clock and then go for a whole month. Which sounds cool, but again, it's rumours. I haven't seen Twitch confirm that either way, and no one actually knows when it's starting. But apparently, it could be tonight in about four hours. So that would be really cool if that started, because we are halfway through Pride Month now, and Pride hasn't really started yet. Um, so that would be cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I think there's, I think that covers everything. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see tonight basically at eight o'clock. Um, everyone refresh and the Pride event might be live. Um, or it might not, I don't know, but hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Because I've been, I've been holding on to my resub on Fiona's channel, um, since the start of the month. Just waiting for the Pride event to be live so I can actually get some of those Pride emotes. <laughs> I haven't shared the resub yet. <laughs> I need them. There's some really cool ones this year. Um, there's the, uh, non-binary, the NB, that's it, the non-binary B, the NB, it looks adorable, oh my gosh, and I want to do that to support my non-binary partner as much as possible, I will spam that B everywhere. Um, yeah, anyway, shall we get on with, um, some Animal Crossing for today? Let's do it, let's do it! Let's see if time travel did actually ruin anything today, because now it's, like, actually day 89. Um, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw this. I should have shown that on the main menu. Nintendo released like a free game today that their, their developers were working on during the lockdown. And it's just like a fun little jump rope rabbit game where you hold the Joy-Cons in your hand like a jump rope and just exercise. It's just like, it's basically like a mini ring fit. Um, <laughs> and it's free and it looks it looked quite cute. Um, yeah, anyway, waiting for this to load here today. Apparently I'd shut down the game yesterday. Oh yeah, I did, because I accidentally loaded it again, didn't I? <laughs> um, 
Do 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 do. Dum 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 dum. There we go. If I sorry, if I quickly do this. Yeah, there we go. Free download the jump rope challenge. Take an active break in your day with jump rope challenge. Free for Nintendo Switch. Hold both Joy Cons in your hands and jump while moving your arms as if you're exercising with a skipping rope. The on-screen rabbit will reflect your movements, allowing your jumps to be counted, and you can also record how many times you've jumped each day. Yeah, so this was created by a small group of Nintendo developers at home during the whole lockdown to encourage exercise breaks while at home. And I thought that was a really cool idea. So there you go. Just thought I'd mention that in case people hadn't noticed that yet. Anyway, on to Animal Crossing for the day. Oh, wow! Thank you for gifting a sub as well to Hazo Yam. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Oh, a news update! Wow, this is the first time we're seeing the 16th of June's news update. I wonder what Isabel has to say. <clears throat> Hello there, everyone. Right now on Waffle Ham, it's 4:14 p.m. on Tuesday, June the 16th, 2020. There's no news that I can think of. It's only Tuesday, so be sure to pace yourselves. Don't overdo it. Well then, Isabel signing off. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's the first time we've heard that report. Definitely. Gee, I wonder who could be in town today. I'm going to say Red. Oh, look, Red's in town. Oh, oh, that was a lucky guess that I said that when that happened. Well, I couldn't have possibly known that. Now Zia sent us a message. It's Surfing KK. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, do we not have this one? That sounds like something we don't have. Please tell me it's like proper like surf music, like do 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 Okay, that was a bad attempt, but <laughs> Okay, right. No other mail. Oh! Someone dropped their book here. Who Okay. I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to re reunite it with its owner. Okay, is there any way to see who this could be? This looks like somebody's notebook. The handwriting is mostly illegible, but I can make out the word band. Hmm. Hmm, Coco and the Nuts. Yes, it's the only thing that makes sense. Because the villagers in this town definitely know that they're part of a band. Um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> this got confusing. <laughs> Who would be part of a band if we didn't already have a band? Who's the most musical-oriented villager on our island? Oh god, no, Pika, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Coco's in our rainbow garden, and our rainbow garden looks so good. So we're actually seeing this now at bright um, sun-time daylight. Bright sun, <laughs> bright sun-time daylight is the, is the time of day. Um, <laughs> So we're actually seeing this in its full rainbow glory here. Obviously, we're still missing a few colours. We're still missing a few flowers. Um, and I think I want to put gold roses at the end here as well. Um, but yeah, this is really coming along. We wanted to have a rainbow garden ready for Pride Month. Um, when we do our Pride Festival at the end of the month, um, we'll be having a live performance from Coco and the Nuts. Everyone has a nice little picnic seating area on the beach to watch the festival. Um, there's toilets don't know why I needed to specify that. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, I think this is coming along really well. I think this will look really good once we're done with it. I don't know who who the band clue could be for, though. I don't know who has, like, a music... It could be Peanut, you know. She is going on about always wanting to be a pop star. Peanut seems like the most likely, right? I'm going to go with Peanut. If we can find them. Tasha's not home. Maybe if there's a thought bubble on Tasha, that one on Pekin wasn't the actual one. Maybe? Question mark, maybe? Where 
is everybody? <laughs> There's barely anyone around. No one's inside their house, but where are they? <laughs> ah, there's Kiki. Okay. Um, anyone else kicking around over here? No? Who is everybody? Oh, we've got some flowers growing in there at least. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we did um, change around our flowers a bit yesterday. And, um, ooh! There's purple roses. Wait, no, I planted those. We already, <laughs> we already knew about those. <laughs> Never mind. Someone in Buncord is going to have Eugene in boxes tomorrow? Don't say that to me, Nightjar. No. How do I... How can I possibly... I could do... I could, I could time travel. Time travel would help. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Must be strong. No. What? I can't just... That can't just be my default go-to now. I've been cursed. I've been <laughs> I must... I must stay strong. I must stay strong. Where the heck is the rest of our residents today? If they're not in their house, I don't know where they are. Peanut has to be somewhere. Maybe on the beach. I didn't check the beach. Looking for summer shells and sharks anyway, so... Man, I do like this bright, vibrant sky we got going on. Man, it's been raining here today. It's been kind of miserable here, but Animal Crossing always lifts up my spirits. Peanut was near my house? Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right, they were. Oh, that was at the beginning. Sorry, time travel has confused my brain and I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> hey, Peanut, there you are. Honey, Honey Thank you so much for delivering that Prezi to Hazel. What did Hazel say? Um, well... I get it. So, sounds like things went triggered. That's great. Um, also, I think I might add this. What's that? Do you want to practice being pop stars together? Did you drop this? I don't know. Let me see. Sorry, honey nut, this isn't mine. It's pretty cool and I'd really like to keep it, but yeah, not mine. I've maybe seen Hazel or something like this before, maybe? Okay, thank you, Peanut. That's very useful. Let's find Hazel then. He can know. Are they inside their house, maybe? Ah, they are. Excellent. <laughs> now, see, stop it. Stop summoning the thought bubble to my squirrels. Sup, Sozo? Glad you swung by, squirrel friend. You lose this? What, you found something? I see it, squirrel friend. Oh, hey, my notebook. So where'd it end up? It's outside my castle. You have no idea how important this thing is to me? I gotta pay you back for this. I know it ain't much for all that hard work, but here's a cartoonist set. Cool? Cool. Thank you, Hazel. Um, I already got many of those, but thank you, Hazel. did notice that she set up the board game and getting ready to make her D&D character. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, so we need green mums to happen. Um, so far, I think what we set up up here... Um, it didn't look like it grew much. Yeah, it's created more purples. That's fine, right? Like, we just let that keep happening. And if we put them all in like a diagonal configuration. There we go. And then if we time travel, we can. Oh god, no, we can. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Must stay strong. 
You must stay strong. Okay, okay, um, we got a new song, we got a new song, let's listen to that. I think it'll be a good one. Oh my gosh, the cover art looks amazing already. Holy crap. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing! I love the song. Oh my gosh, this is this is incredible. If only we had Eugene in town to play this song. Eugene would totally be Coco and the Nuts' manager. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we could make a whole like story of this, a whole novella. Oh my gosh, Pekin, please don't move out. <laughs> we need you for the band. Okay, right. Um. Okay, so I've just got a bunch of extra leftover plants here, I guess, from our little attempt yesterday. Um, I did want to give the acorn cap to... to Pekin, actually. Um, <laughs> but I can't do that right now. So, cool. Um, we'll just hold on to that for another day, I guess. Uh, what else have we got? I think we got a few things we need to just put away for now. Although I do need to figure out where I want to put this antenna. Hmm, could we put that up by the by the beach, maybe? Hold on, let's check the terminal while I'm here, else I'll forget to do that. Green rubber flooring. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> random. Day one? Day one? No, but I was on a... No, but I... But I... Oh god. <laughs> I've broken everything. I knew I knew there would be something that was wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. What we got on the catalog today? We've got Hypno KK. That sounds pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Granite creams, hot butter ice cream. <laughs> no. <laughs> You need that one? Okay, sure, done. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there an easy way to just clear all? Um. Um. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, brilliant. I don't know Nightjar, because the only way I can make that happen is if I time travel a whole bunch. And I only wanted to do it to fix the rocks so that we didn't have to keep dealing with that every day. I don't want to like resort to just doing it all the time whenever I have a minor inconvenience, you know? <laughs> I think I think it's I kind of like the island hopping as well. I kind of like the Sunday streams where we just farm islands over and over. Yeah, I actually quite enjoy that. So yeah, I'll probably just go for that, honestly. I appreciate the offer, though. Thank you for letting me know. Plus, I might have also got very close to ordering a Eugene Amiibo card. Um, it's <laughs> I 
Okay, what we got today, well, there we go. Boom. We haven't really been needing these miles at all lately, have we? We've barely done anything. Yeah, I'm wondering if I do order a Eugene Amiibo. Because, like, Eugene is the one that I definitely 100% want, right? I want Eugene on my island as the smug villager. But the jock one is kind of a variable. The jock one's just like, I'll take whoever I see on island tours, really. So that could be, yeah, that could be more fun. To do the island hopping for the jock. And to do the Eugene with just the amoeba card. Because then I'm more likely to get him. Because it's, well, it's 100% likely to get him. <laughs> oh, I haven't actually checked the shops today, have I? We got distracted with, with that lost notebook. And then I completely forgot about everything else. Oh, in Redson Town. Oh, we should do that too. <laughs> See, now Eugene isn't isn't up there, up there, so his amiibo is relatively cheap. The Coco amiibo I could not get, because a legit Coco amiibo was like 50 quid or something. Um, I think we have... All of the... I don't... I'm not sure we have this, though. Yeah, let's buy this. The Antique Vanity for 31,000. Okay. I would rather have the official ones. I don't know why. I know, I know that there's not, it's literally just like an NFC touch point. It's not actually anything tangible. It's not like it's a figure, you know, like all the other Amiibo things. So I don't know why I would care so much about just having a legit card, but for some reason I want it to be legit. So, so there. <laughs> We already have the frog umbrella, else I would have definitely bought that. Okay, so, hey, we got something out of the cranny today at least. So is there a way to make a custom shuffle list for... So, okay, so yesterday I accidentally removed a song from one of my, one of my jukeboxes, right? Um, is it possible to have this jukebox only play Rockin' KK and like Surfin' KK? Like, if I remove... The trouble... How do I... I don't understand how it works. <laughs> and also, it's going to need a lot of space. But how do I make it so this jukebox here only shuffles the rocking songs, but the jukebox down by... Uh, the stereo down by the Pride Parade does all, like, the parade songs. There's no way to... There's no way to have two different stereos with two different lists, no? Okay, then I, I won't bother then. Oh, I should probably clear up my inventory before I go shopping. Ah, oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a red nose. I think we already have that though. Um, I do like the bunny ears. I think we already have those as well though. What else do we have today? Uh, we have... Ooh! I do like that space parker. I think we've already got that, though. I'm pretty sure we've got most of these things now at this point. Although, I say that every day, and then there's always something that I don't have. Or something that I think I don't have, and then I end up buying two of. Um... Today I think it's the tie-dye skirt. I don't think we have the tie-dye skirt, and it looks quite gorgeous, honestly. It's a shame there's none that are quite in a, a, a flag for, for pride, you know? There's no actual rainbowy tie-dye shirt skirt. <laughs> I think the orange one would probably be the best for that, right? Yeah. And then I think I need the basketball shorts as well. Purple, I think. Yeah. There we go. There's always something new. Like it. I like it. Right. Now for the fun stuff. Now we get to do a little mini game with our good friend, Cousin Red. Let's see how well this goes. See, because last time, last time I had read, I think it was last time, every single thing was a fake. So, so that was fun. Um, 
Yep. No one, no one saw that. It's fine. Well, if it isn't my favourite cousin, glad to have you back aboard Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler. Oh, store policy, I know it, you know it. We have a limit of one art piece per customer per day. Choose wisely. Okay, is this a fake statue again? I keep getting the same fake statue. Yes, put it in a mode only mode, quickly, so I don't see any spoilers. Because I want to figure it out myself. Go, go, quick, quick, there's no time. Okay. Now, I already knew the statue was a fake, so that's fine. That one's done. We know that one. What about these? Won't lie, awful lot of folks been asking me about buying that academic painting right there. But maybe the price scared them off. I'll sell it to you for 4980 Deal of the summer. You in? I want a closer look. Oh! It's the man that has a name <laughs> that I've forgotten. Oh, God. It's the man what has a name. <laughs> that was terrible. Hold on. <laughs> oh, for some reason, uh, the word in my head was the Venusaur Man, <laughs> which is not it. Um, <laughs> okay, the Vitruvian Man. Let's let's have a let's have a look around now. From what I can see so far, I think that's accurate. Um, just from my memory banks. But if I do a quick look on the old Googles, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty legit. I think this might be real. I, I think maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait, no, it's got a coffee stain on it. I just noticed that. I'm pretty sure the coffee stain isn't part of it. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, that's amazing though. Um, I like that I was so into it that I just ignored the coffee stain. Okay, okay. This is a quaint painting. What's this one? What we got? Yeah, yeah, shut up, Red. <laughs> You almost tricked me once. Not again. Um, I don't know this one. I don't know what it's called. What is in that box? Is that a Furby? I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's a Furby. <laughs> what is this one? Painting, painting what is of jug. Painting, painting of, I don't know what to Google. Um, <laughs> Painting of Lady with Jugs. No, nope, that's oh god. <laughs> that's a different thing. <laughs> ah, the milkmaid. There we go. I found it, I found it. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I mean, there is something in that box on the original painting. There is... I don't see much difference so far in terms of... It, the only thing that's throwing me off is that box, because I can't quite tell what's in it. Can't tell what's in it on the original painting either. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's meant to be. I, it doesn't m match, I'm pretty sure. Does it? I can't tell. I'm gonna go with fake for now. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this is this is person what is made of fruit. 
person what is made of fruit. We had this a few weeks ago. I remember this one. I can't remember what the what the problem was though. Oh, it was the flower. It was the flower in the in the chest there. I remember that was that was different in the painting I was looking at. Yeah, I remember. Hold on, hold on. Um, uh, painting of person what is made of fruit in it. <laughs> okay. I think that flower was different. Is it? I think that flower doesn't match what the flower should be. Yeah. The flower should have two leaves and it should be slightly darker. Yeah, that's not that's not real. But then that would mean none of these are real. And that, that could, not again. That can't happen again, right? What do I do if it if there's a coffee stain in the Vitruvia man, the, the the fruit is wrong, lady. Um, I guess this one. If 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 any of them are real, it's this one. But I'm not sure. Okay, you can take it off in mode mode now. I I don't know what's in that box and if this is real or not. <laughs> Someone help. <laughs> Hi. Fruit man? Why are you all saying fruit man? There's too much milk. There's too much milk. That's you guys are saying there's too much milk. You guys are saying the fruit man is real? The fruit man doesn't look real to me. The lady with jugs was too much milk. Okay, fair enough. Um. <laughs> oh, are there two different versions of this fruit? There are, actually. There's, like, multiple versions of this painting on Google Images. Bless you. I kind of do want this though, just the coffee stained Venusaur man <laughs> would, <laughs> would be amazing. Yeah, seriously, if you search person what is made of fruit, that is the first result. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I want, I want it, I want it. I do want that one, but no, we, we have to get, we have to get more. We have to get more real ones for our museum because so far we've got like three paintings. I did notice one of the feet was very, very wrong there as well. <laughs> Fine, we're going with this then. Yeah. But it looks different to the one I'm looking at. It doesn't, it doesn't match the one I'm looking at. That's what I'm confused about. I think this is, I thought this was a fake because when you search p p person what is made of fruit um <laughs> it doesn't quite match this one still even if this is real that's what I'm confused about but okay okay fine fine let's go for it let's do it I'm not going to regret this, apparently. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, we'll find out tomorrow. Or today, if I time travel. No, must, <laughs> must stay strong. No one saw that. <laughs> okay, so we are looking for blue hyacinths. So I think we're gonna we're gonna take some of these. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. I need inventory space. Oh my gosh, I need so much inventory space before I can do anything. Uno momento. The real milk lady has much less milk coming out of her jugs. Fair enough. I don't know what's wrong with my sentences. Um. <laughs> Right, let's try and store some of this stuff if we have the space. Actually, I want to put that somewhere. Actually, I want to put that somewhere too. Oh my god, I forgot about those. There goes all my storage space again. <clears throat> but hey, that's freed up enough to hopefully sort out our flowers a little bit. I love this song. Oh my gosh. It feels... Nazi has just sent me a bunch of stuff again. Um, I hope you like your shiny dino. If you need this, <laughs> I <laughs> I don't have a shiny dinosaur. Um, but thank you for the message. All the same. Never leave home without this. Okay. Is it a towel? It's a towel. <laughs> and what's shiny? Oh! Okay, this could actually be quite good for our little marketplace area. Oh, actually, I need to remember to actually water these flowers as well, don't I? Because else nothing happens. Go. All right, let's listen to Fair. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, the vocals came in and it, the, the, the tone changed wildly. Um <laughs> It kind of works for the marketplace, honestly. It does kind of work for this area. It's just not quite what I expected. <laughs> See, this bit, this is fine. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not, you know? It kind of fits the area. Um, right, what else we got? What was I doing just now before I got distracted? That's what we were doing. We were going to remove some of the hyacinths so we could hopefully have different ones grow. There we go. Um, yeah, so we'll hope for, I think it's the, the blue hyacinths come from that. Um, what's, what's the other thing we're trying to get? What's the, what were the other things I'm missing here? Hold on, I have to go back down and remember what I was doing. <laughs> that's, that's gonna happen every time I walk past here, apparently. You know, in a way, it is kind of good that the bubble isn't going on Marina or Tasha right now. Because we need the bubble to go on them on Friday. So that I can marathon Sunday's dream island hopping. Because if, if, if they go too early, if it's on someone I, I don't want 
or someone I do want but too early, then I, I can't really make the time in my day to do island hopping marathon streams, except on Sundays. So, yeah, I mean, in a way, it's kind of a kind of a silver lining then. Yes, it went on Pekin, but it's okay, really, because we can't do anything until Sunday anyway. Okay, that's fine then. I've just reassured myself. Uh, so we need the green mums. Nothing we can do about that. We need one more of these hyacinths. We're working on that. We need uh, three more black roses. Okay, so the roses are the important thing. The hyacinth will just kind of happen, hopefully, tomorrow. Or today if I time travel. No! Oh my gosh, we've got more gold roses as well. Oh my gosh! We haven't seen one of these in ages, guys. We haven't seen one of these money spots in forever because our whole island has been covered in mannequins so that we could make this rock circle. Finally, it's free. Finally, we can, we can do a money tree again. It's been so long. But yeah, this is great. Um, so if we have some gold roses here, we can... Um, boop, 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 where's my... Oh, I don't have that shortcut. There we go. Okay, this should be good. We can put the gold roses now in our little display and hopefully have some more grow. Um, there we go. In fact, can't I just leave those black roses there on their own and then it will just be gold roses, right? Oh no, because I need more black roses anyway for the for the presentation, so yeah, okay, we'll just we'll leave it like that. So yeah, we need one, two, three, we need three more black roses. We need just one more of these, these um, like sort of indigo hyacinths, and then we need the green mums to actually start happening. That the green mums is going to be the hardest thing. Actually, weirdly, the gold roses I have more of. <laughs> oh, this looks this looks lovely. Oh my gosh, guys! It's the gold at the end of the rainbow. <gasps> It all makes sense now. I knew there was a reason I wanted gold roses there. It's the gold at the end of the rainbow. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Okay. Good. This is good. Is it worth watering this black rose? Is that gonna like duplicate? Can that happen? If I water that black rose, we'll see. We'll see if anything happens tomorrow or today if I time travel. No, stop it! <laughs> it's so tempting every time. But yeah, my gosh, this looks. Oh, you can turn these off and on as well. Okay, this this little garden area looks great. Um, I'm wondering if we actually like did this instead and had like a bench on each side, so you can walk through or sit down. Maybe we could even have like a statue here. Hold on, let's have a look. Where's my nearest crafting station? Um, up at the studio, I think. Because if we take a quick peek at the bamboo stuff. The naked lady statue would be perfect for pride. Um, <laughs> that's true. Um, so if I go to the bamboo things, hold on. Uh, it's almost like we're making a sort of zen garden in a way. Like we could we could use we could do something with, with some of these items maybe. Um or I could go to the bamboo. Um 
Wait, which one's the bamboo? Ah, here we go. Um, we could use one of the little stools and have a stool on either side of the statue. Or we could have little candles lining the path. Um, or we could have... We could have one of the speakers, like, hidden behind one of the fences, so it's playing like a... It's playing like stale cupcakes during the in the garden. Oh, that would be amazing. Um... Nightjar, I don't... I kind of want to... I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> you have blue hyacinth and green mum that you could just give me. Which sounds great, but... But then the Rainbow Garden wouldn't have, wouldn't have been made on Waffle Ham. How can I celebrate Waffle Ham Pride if I've taken things from elsewhere? God, Nightjar. <laughs> Way to ruin the stream. <laughs> Uh, this could look quite lovely as well, actually. I'm wondering. I am wondering. We can't put rugs down outside, can we? Why can't you? Because that would look amazing in the middle of the path there. That's a shame. Yeah, so I think if we make a couple of these... No, no, if we make the... Hmm. I'm not sure, I'm not sure the best way to do it. I think we will repurpose um, the, the naked ladies. Um, <laughs> but then... But then they're not... Then they're not lesbians, they're just lesbian. Hmm. It must be both of them. It has to be both of them. We can make it work. Do I bring him a space forward like this? Or do I put him a space back like this? Do I even maybe just do it like this and then have like something in the middle? Or... I mean, you want to actually be able to see the flowers I guess, so yeah. Yeah. Opposite sides of the bench. Does that work? Is there space for that? Oh, it's a tight squeeze. I don't think there's space for that. I don't think the flower can be there. Yeah, there's, you're not able to... Um... No, I think what we had I think what we had at first was the best one to do. We were overthinking it, I think. Okay, now how do I make them smooch? <laughs> that's the best that's the best angle for smooching. There we go. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Balloon! Somewhere. There it is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Shell wand? Ah, a new thing. And then you can just like sit here and admire the lesbians. I mean, it works, right? 
How many people can fit on this? Two people? Okay. Well, I think this will do the job. Um, I am wondering, uh, because we've used two wind flowers, we've used an orange wind flower and a blue wind flower. Are there any flowers we're missing from this? It would be great to have like one of each. But I think we've got everything covered, right? I don't think there's any flowers we're missing. We've got tulips, windflowers, roses, pansies, hyacinth. Yeah. We're going to have green mums. And we've got pink cosmos. And we've got white lilies. So that's that's all the flowers. I'm pretty sure. Except for like li lily of the valley. Uh, which could... Hmm. What if we had white lily of the valley and the lilies were orange lilies? That could work. Then we would technically have one of each flower. We do have a lot of roses. Um, well, it's awkward because you can only get gold roses. You can't get gold, gold anything else. And red roses seems like it's kind of like mandatory. You know, red roses is like the perfect symbol of love. So... Black roses, I guess, are interchangeable. We could have black tulips instead. That's true. And then we could have... Then we could have yellow lilies. Are there black lilies? There are black lilies, actually. I mean, either way, with what we've got right here, it's it's serviceable. It'll work. Once we've got the green mums in, it'll be fine. Um, but I want it to be as perfect as possible, you know? And to do that, I want as much diversity as possible. And so I'd want as many different flowers as possible. Um... Black lilies and tulips then. Okay, but if I okay, so if I if I okay, so hypothetically, let's go with this. If I put black tulips down, right, then what do I replace yellow tulips with? Because that doesn't solve my windflower problem where I have two windflowers. So I think the best thing to do would be orange lilies. And then white lily of the valley. And then black tulips. Hmm. Uh, either way, we're going to double up. There's not much we can do about that. I do have an orange lily on me if you want to see how it would look. Oh, see, that's that. Wow, that's a completely different orange. No, I, I kind of prefer the windflower orange, honestly. That orange lily is too too deep. Not a fan. Not a fan of that one. Yeah, I think I think we'll just go with this. You know, I think that's fine. Would be that would be a cool idea if you could if there was a step beyond gold roses and if you bred gold roses together it became a rainbow rose that would be amazing um, unfortunately that's not in the game um, <laughs> or if you could do anything with the lilies of the valley you know if you could breed those and get like a rainbow lily of the valley Kiki wait the blue is not meant to be on you don't you dare don't you dare I've been searching for a Prezi for Hazel, but so far I've got nothing. Looking for presents is fun, but it's definitely stressful when nothing good turns up. Hey, Honey Nut, what do you think I should do to find a good Prezi? Um, ask what they want. Talk to them. <laughs> you keep making me do all these errands for Hazel. Just talk to them, Peanut. I suppose the deaf get what they want, but it wouldn't be much of a surprise. Oh, I know. What if I ask them what they want, and I'll tell you after I find out, Peanut? You're a legit sneakmeister, Marina? That's a super smart play? Operation Sneak is on. Oh, man. What a team. Love it.
If I move the blue hyacinth to a clear spot and water it, I can clone it. Okay, what if I... <laughs> what if I just move the bench out of the way for now? And then that, that gives it a spot where it can... I know it's a bit cluttered. It's fine. And we'll see tomorrow if it's appeared. Okay, well, now I'm going to get everything. Um, they can grow on sand, yeah. We established that awkwardly over here, where my tulips just spread off of the sand onto the dirt. It was awkward. Wait, no, I guess they were on the sand and then they went onto the dirt, but I'm assuming it works backwards as well. So if I open up my island right now and let a bunch of people come to this place and water all of the flowers that I need, that's supposed to increase the chances, right? Or... I could time travel. No, I... <laughs> Why? Why is this curse? <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a beach towel. That's excellent. We can put that down here as well. Thank you very much to Nazi for that. Oh wait, it's the same one I already had. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> we need the ants to still be able to spawn as well. Thanks, ants. Ants. Okay, I think this area looks fine. You can kind of move between each... Oh, it can be customized? Oh! Ah, in which case we can have two. Nice. Thanks, Nazi. Thilesy. Oh, wow, there's so many customizations. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. We could have a rainbow blanket. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that's going to look perfect! This would genuinely look perfect for our pride parade here. I realise it's not much of a parade. Um, we were originally going to turn this place into like different floats. We were going to design different floats and use like tables to put different like things on them. But I think the Rainbow Garden's a better idea, and it's also something that we can use all throughout the year, whereas the floats wouldn't really make sense in, like, November. Because we don't do Thanksgiving. Um. <laughs> oh, that looks lovely. Okay, can we customise the other one? Something for, for pride, but not the same thing that we've already done. I mean, that looks pretty cool too, to be fair. What if we use the custom? <laughs> get, get your waffle ham pride. Beach towel. Get one made of concrete. I don't know what I'm doing with these designs. Cocoa in the nuts towel. Hmm. Cocoa in the nuts towel kind of works. A towel straight from meat fresh? I don't think that would work somehow. Wait, a towel stitched together from meat sacks. No, no, we go with we go with the cocoa in the nuts one. I think that'll be that'll be good. Why did I have this? Here, right? Wrong 
way round. Oh, oh dear. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh god. How do I... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't think that was where I had it before, is it? I can't tell. It kind of looks a bit weird, honestly. I might just use a... I don't know. Might, yeah, it, it says stun et DNA. Ock, ock. <laughs> I no, we're not doing that. True croissant? Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> oh, that looks a bit better. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how do I... There we go. Okay, I think, I think we need to spread it out a little bit more though. Add a bit more depth, like, here. Oops, okay, or not, hold on, there's not enough depth now. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. There we go, that's a lot more open. You can walk amongst, in between all the different parts of it, so villagers hopefully actually use this area. <laughs> That'd be good. And then you've got this bit over here. Yeah, okay, I think this is, I think this is fine. There's not really much else we can fit here. If, if there was beach terraforming and I could just push this coast out just a little bit, that would be great, but we, we take what we can get here. This is where I decided to build it, so this is what I have to work with. Okay, I like it though, it's coming along really well. So green mums, one single hyacinth, that should happen tomorrow. I've, I've watered a lot of different hyacinths to make that happen. In fact, we could um, try and do another bit here. If I just get rid of, um, I don't know, these. And we put these white ones down. These, I think, can turn into blue ones, so that would work too. Just so we have lots of possible places where we can get the, the blue hyacinth as quick as possible. So we don't have a repeat of waiting two weeks for a rock circle. <laughs> okay. Nice. Marina? Okay, I'm going to talk to Marina. So, I heard one of my neighbours calling you Lollipop. I think that's a great nickname. Would you mind if I use it too? <sighs> You've been talking to Kiki. Fine, go for it. <laughs> I'm so glad I got the courage to ask. Thanks, Lollipop. Oh, Marina. <laughs>
I guess we can free up all these tiles as well now and try and make more roses happen. Oops, oh god. Well, less roses happen in this case, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, what ones here can make black roses? Because I'd like to try and optimize this area a bit. Also, I didn't realize we had so much bamboo here, actually. I, was, I thought we had more on the island. For some reason, I completely forgot there was some here. So this is an area we can eventually do something with as well. We've got a big, like, wide open patch of area here. Patch of area? That was a phrase. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what we can do with that. Red and red. Okay, that works. We can we can do that. couple spaces where that should be viable, I think. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing by the way, I'm just hoping for the best here. <laughs> opened up a few spaces. Flowers can happen. That's all that matters, right? Flowers, yay, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> yeah, okay. So no idea who actually wants to move out today then, because the bubble's kind of been hopping. And Pekin doesn't have it anymore. In fact, Pekin's having the time of her life. Hmm. Go on, Peanut. Go on. Go on. Yes! Okay, I'm, I'm making this worse. Hold on. Hi. Oh, meat slice. There you are. We haven't chatted in forever, darling. You always look so busy running around. I appreciate you stopping to say hello. Pekin, I'm so sorry. I, I know we haven't chatted in a while, but it's because I've been dreading that you wanted to move out. So I guess we've kind of just been ignoring each other. And it's been really awkward. But don't worry, I got you a hat. <laughs> oh my, what is it, squirrel friend? Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, well, well. What could it be? I must be dreaming. This can't be an acorn knit cap. Oh, I simply must see how this looks on me right away. Oh, darling. How do I look? Don't say anything. I already knew the answer. Fabulous. Okay. Well, I, I know species. I know. I don't want the friendship to reset. I, I want to talk to them, but when they have a thought bubble over them and there's a chance that one of them wants to move out, we can't risk that. We have to we have to keep that thought bubble moving until it lands on, on Tasha or Marina, and then we can make stuff work. Peanut, there's a mosquito coming towards you. Get down. Hi. Good to see you again, squirrel friend. What's the latest? Toast planted a bunch of green stuff yesterday. That's a fab bit of landscaping, honey nut. It looks pretty, and it brings all the bugs out, so thanks, squirrel friend. Oh, and actually, that's a good point. Time traveling might have punished me. I might have lost friendships. Oh no, I didn't think about that. Oh god. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on, I can give I can give you a coconut peanut. Let me get some wrapping paper. So um, we are going to be live again at 6 o'clock with some co-op, um, which means I am wanting to wrap this up kind of soonish so we can have a little break in between. Um, but we have to sort out this problem. <laughs> we have to be friends with our friends again. I can't believe I didn't think about how much time travel would affect things. I mean, I did. I was going over and over it in my head, not wanting to do it. And then I did it. And now I regret it. Because we could have just waited another day or two for that rock. That would have been fine. And now everyone hates me. Okay. Uh, coconuts, that's what I need. actually needed these coconuts to make more of those fake palm trees but we ended up not going with that idea because we needed our rainbow garden instead but to be fair this area would have been fine for the rainbow garden would it have actually hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't think we would have been able to fully realize it like we have over here it would have been too limited on space actually so yeah maybe we did have the perfect place see we knew all along anyway let's give peanut a coconut that's a sentence. Where'd they go? There you are. Um. That was... Hold on. Um, <laughs> that was six coconuts. Um. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I have an idea. Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today, squirrel friend. Okay. Hey, super great to see you. What do you need? <laughs> what could it be? I'm gonna sing while I open it. A coconut? Yum! I'm so gonna eat this so fast it's gonna be rude. <laughs> Favorite line in the game. Thanks a bunch. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff, so take this dress. Thank you. Oh, that seems like a very snazzy dress, actually. Oh, my pocket's full. No, all these flowers. Hold on, we can throw some of these away now. We've got, we got flowers to spare. Oh man, very summery. But I'll go back to my Popeye cosplay. <laughs> okay, I gave Peek in a hat. Um, we need to give gifts to all of our best friends. Oh my gosh, because I, I didn't think about time travel affecting that. My goodness. Where's, um, where's Hazel? Where's Coco? Oh gosh. Yum. Uh, Hazel, you have to get off the chair. Hazel, Hazel, uh, Hazel, get down. Hazel, I have a thing for you, but I can't gift you something when you're on a chair for some reason. For some reason, that's a limitation in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe if I re-enter. Yum. <laughs> Can't get that line out of my head. Say as long as you want. I don't mind at all, squirt friend. This is yours. What is it? I want to see. Um, 
This is so awesome. What's in there? There's nothing tastier than a coconut. Thanks. Thanks. I could eat these for days. They're scary goods, girlfriend. Feels awkward just taking stuff, you know. So here's some bells, girlfriend. Now we're even. Ish. <laughs> I love that everyone on this island calls food scary and rude. <laughs> Okay, now Coco would also be great to find. Going loco while we look for Coco. If it takes too long. Yes, we'll be going loco as we look for Coco. Don't know the rest of this song. <laughs> they were down here somewhere, weren't they? They were like with the... Who were the flowers earlier? Are they still here? They are! Excellent. Wait! No! <laughs> no way is there a balloon on you, Coco! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why? Why? Why is this happening to me? I, do I risk it? Do I risk it? I mean, it, she can't want to move out, right? That's fine, right? Everything's fine. The balloon could be good. Exactly. And the fact that the balloon hasn't been on her all day means it could be... could be someone else. It could be Tasha. We haven't seen Tasha today. Maybe it's Tasha. Maybe if I just wait for the autosave symbol in the top right... <laughs> in the top right... <clears throat> and there it is. And there's a spinny circle. Okay, we're just... Spinny circle! Over there, up there, where I'm pointing. Over there. Any minute now. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi. Wait, I looked away from the screen. I don't know if it already saved or not. <laughs> Fiona came into my room playing with Sonya and it was adorable and I had to watch that instead of this. Okay, if we... That's a good point. If we exit and... Eg uh, bleh, enter and exit a house. That would get rid of the bubble if it's a gift? No! <laughs> okay, we have to wait for the autosave. Now as he redeemed, give treats to pet. So, <laughs> there you go. Fiona's taking care of that. Come on, Coco, come on. Just why is it not saved yet? Okay, fine. We got some other stuff we want to sort out anyway. I just realized I've had my face like torn off and haven't fixed that for a while, so here we go. <laughs> oh, wrong thing. I actually meant to wear that. Hold on. There we go. Back to me. Yay. Oh, there it is. It always saved. Okay. Guess what? I've got something here for you. Yay. I was thinking you might want a shorts outfit. Thanks, Coco. That's great. That's, that's all we wanted. We're just glad you don't want to move out, honestly. Man, maybe all these people just wanted to give me gifts this whole time. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty snazzy. Back to the sailor costume, though. <laughs> Coco, I got a coconut for you. Oh, is that rude? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Gold print tea? Wow, that sounds amazing. Sorry, I was distracted by Fiona and Sonya. Because um, they're both adorable. <laughs> and I love them both. Thank you, Coco. What did we get? What is that? I think we've already got one of these. Yeah, we do. But it looks it looks very snazzy. So who's the balloon on, then? 
if none of these dudes have the balloon on them, maybe it actually is on Tasha and we've just not seen them today. And if we've not seen them today, where are they? <laughs> they could be in the museum, I guess. But if they're in the museum, they're not going to have a balloon on them, so that's kind of defeats the point. Um, I think I need to make the staircase a bit better. Hold on. Right, that looks that looks terrible. Um, that looks bad. I just wanted it to look like it was a long staircase leading down to the beach. Never mind. I won't try things now. Okay, so yeah, I think for the for the rest of our garden here, for the rest of the stuff we've got going on, we basically have to now wait it out. Come back tomorrow and see if those flowers have sprouted and spread and bred and all other words. Um, yeah, I think we might have this little rainbow garden project done by the end of the week if we get lucky with green mums. Um, we do have some black roses here as well that we could we could take from the graveyard if we absolutely ended up needing them. But I think we'll be fine. Um, uh, sure, about to. Ah, DIY, excellent. Check me out, I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? I'm making me a fancy mum reef. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the instructions to me. So I gotta build it before I forget. Check it out, I can teach you if you want. Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. I've got it all scribbled down white right here, so just read this. If I can make it, then I bet you can do it in no time, ham fam. Love it. Oh my gosh. Nice, a new thing. Da 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 da. Hey, Sonny. Are you expecting treats from me as well? I'm gonna just give you a lot. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at that reef, I guess, while we're here. Oh, ba -da -ba -bum. Yum. Ooh, that shell wand looks nice as well. Forgot we got that. And yeah, fancy mum reef. more fossils down there. Okay, yeah, so now that we have cleared up our island as well, it should be a lot easier to actually go about our day and, and get all the things we used to do before <laughs> before the rock incident. Before the the lost fortnight. Oh, we're also looking for a bug that only appears on stumps that we don't have yet. I don't think it's that one. Um, but there is a bug that only appears on stumps, and we don't have it yet. Um, so we got to keep an eye out when we're passing by these stumps here. stumps are. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if the antenna would fit in here on the beach. I think this area is too small for it. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, that does fit in. Excellent. So this is our weirdly technological area, I guess. Oh, it doesn't really... Wow, it actually takes up a lot of space. Deceptive amount of space, actually. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Oh, you guys just redeemed a thing to make me dab. Okay, let's do it. Done. I hope you liked that. Um, weirdly, I can't see many more of those fossil spots, though. 
Do we, do we only get two? Oh, we have three fossils. Okay. If I can find one more. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Oh god, I wonder if the time travel has messed up like Fiona's mailbox at all. In fact, Fiona probably has like 50 messages just waiting for them. <laughs> Any more little fossil spots around here? Oh wait! Huh? Did we have these here the whole time? Oh my gosh! That was lucky! Holy crap! <laughs> I don't know when they grew. <laughs> that was a while ago. Oh, dude, we've even got like orange ones here that I completely forgot about as well. Holy crap. I need to check this area more. Because we've barely done anything with this area. In fact, I bet this tree will even have furniture in it. Yep. See? A decorative coin. Oh god, wait. Oh god. <laughs> okay, just. Oh god. Wait. How do I. Oh, just, just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fine. Oh my gosh, she's singing. Who was that? Ah. Oh. I missed it. It's fine. We've got some fossils to donate. Ooh. Hello. I have some things to assess. I'm hoping we finish the fossil wing soon. We're only about five fossils away, I think. Could be good. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, you've already got one. Ah, well. Ah, well. Kind of, kind of expected statistically at this point. Ah oh, well, that's fine. But hopefully, Blathers, I have a nice little new painting for you tomorrow, so we can actually do something with that art gallery that's been there for a month. <laughs> ah, it was Peanut singing. Of course, it was. Should have guessed. Right. Well. With all that done, I think we might wrap up here, just so I can have a quick 15 minute break before our co-op stream at 6 o'clock. Um, let's just see what fossils we got. Parasaur skull, Brachio skull, don't even know what that is. Yeah! Yeah, yeah there we go. Sell all that. And we also managed to get one of those blue hyacinths, which I apparently already had and didn't realise. I really should check the rest of my island more. <laughs> so let me quickly put that down, and that will be another colour complete on our, on our little project here. Here we go. Kiki's here. Nice. Da-da-da-da! Lovely. Oh my gosh, from this angle... It turns the flowers into like a heart shape because of the way the ladies are curved. Okay, from this one very specific angle. Um, <laughs> Kiki, I was actually going to um, move that. I, I was going to move the bench down now that we... Hey, Kiki, I was... <laughs> so glad to be outdoors. Feel free to join me here. Okay, but I was actually going to... Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, everybody. <laughs> It's been a really fun stream. Oh my gosh. We I since we since we dared to do that time travel thing um yesterday, we have suddenly opened up so many more things we can do on the island every day now that we're not locked in. Um So yeah, it's good. Tomorrow hopefully green mums. Maybe we'll see our first green mums. Hopefully we'll get our fourth little gold rose as well. We do have another gold rose on the island, but it's by our shrine and I don't really want to move that. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Kiki. There we go. There we go. Nice. 
Right, so, okay, there's one more request, apparently, from Nazi to activate the antenna, which I guess I didn't do. Peanut, no. Peanut, no. Wait, no, it can't be, you can't want to move out because we've, we've established this. Hey, honey nut, this is out of nowhere, but do you want to buy my dress? Sure. Okay, how does 1,000 sound? Sold. Fabulous, thanks so much. So it must be on Tasha, right? The, the perma one. Oh, she could be a superstar. Sorry, Bacon. That was rude. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh man, the way the sunlight just crested over that curve there, that was gorgeous. Man, this game is such like a simple art style, but it's also just so beautiful at the same time. I love it. Okay. Excellent. Right. Well, we'll wrap up there for the Animal Crossing stream, but don't stray too far because in literally 15-20 minutes we'll be live again with some co-op and we'll be checking out a recent update to Kingdom 2 Crowns that adds the Deadlands, which is interestingly also a crossover with one of my favourite games of last year. Was it last year? Bloodstained. Um, which is pretty cool. Marina on the drums there. Oh my gosh. That is... Wow. Hold on, let's join in. Wait, it needs bass. There we go, that's more surfing. Love it. Okay, as soon as I went on the sax, Marina was like, nah, 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 too much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Let's wrap up there then. I didn't do the anniversary event today, I just realised. Uh, it's fine, it's fine if you just skip one day, right? That's fine, whatever. I can just do it off stream, it's fine. It's not like we haven't already done, like, all of it anyway. <laughs> But there we go, that was Animal Crossing Day 89. That means tomorrow it's going to be Day 90. 90 days in a row of streams of Animal Crossing. That is redonkulous. Oh my gosh. We are pushing for that 100 days in a row. Um, we are hoping to do a little pride parade on our island before the end of the month. That's what everything we've been working for this month has been towards. Um, I'm really happy with how that rainbow garden is coming along. I think that's going to be really, really good in a day or two. By the weekend, it should be all in place. There we go. Um, but yeah, that is Animal Crossing for now. But again, there's another stream coming your way in just a matter of minutes. About 15 minutes from now. We're going to be doing Kingdom 2 Crowns together. Me and Fiona. It'll be great. Um, what, was the, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh yeah, there's, um, I think, the Pride event for Twitch might actually be going live tonight. A lots of people got like a, a notification that said it was live even though it isn't and it said it was going on until the 16th of July which if they make it go live tonight that would mean a whole month of, of Pride which would be good um, so hopefully if it is going to go live it's usually about midday Pacific which will be in about two and a bit hours from now so we might have it happen during our stream but if not we've also got Fiona going live at nine with marbles so if the Pride event's live for Fiona stream that'd be amazing because I need me some of those, some of those emotes. Some of the emotes this year look really, really good. 
and I want them to there. <laughs> um, what's the other thing I wanted to say? Oh no, that was it. I, w I was going to say Fiona's also live later, but I guess I covered that with the with the Pride stuff too. So good, excellent, right? Anyway, you are all absolutely incredible. Um, thanks for being your awesome sel selves. Thanks for keeping me company um, during the stresses and stuff of of the lockdown. And I hope I'm in some way helping you out in those situations too. Um, we're going to keep doing our thing. I'm going to keep doing Animal Crossing at least for the next 10 days. Um, and then we'll see where we take it after that. I've got a bunch of other things I want to do. A bunch of other things I want to stream. I picked up Total War Warhammer um, a couple of weeks back when it was on sale. And I'd really love to do like a Total War campaign um, on stream. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea how to play it. But I think that would be a lot of fun. And those would be uh, that would be a relatively chill but long stream I could just knock out on like a Sunday evening. That could be quite fun, something like that. We'll see. But that's all going to happen after we after we're done with Animal Crossing. And who knows where Animal Crossing could go? Because I'm also kind of half expecting this month for them to announce a new Animal Crossing update. They they've just revealed a new Pokemon thing. They're doing another Pokemon Direct thing tomorrow. Apparently, um, they've also got like Paper Mario on the way. Um, I could see them doing something about Animal Crossing too, and oh, they're, and they're going to announce a Smash Brothers character this month as well, apparently too. So yeah, I really hope Animal Crossing is included in all of that stuff. It'll be good. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave you just for 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Um, just hang around and chat. Really, I won't bother raiding anyone because we'll be live literally in a matter of minutes again. Anyway, um, and I'll see you then. Um, stretch your legs, grab a drink, do whatever you need to do. Take care of yourselves. Don't just sit here watching the internet, not doing anything or moving. Uh, make sure you stretch those legs. Um, take care of yourselves. And I will see you very, very soon. 15 minutes. Be there. Or don't. I mean, that's fine too. Whatever. <laughs> but do. Do actually be there. <laughs>